we're gonna add a new thought process to the next pipe you buy. Listen, if you're like me, you're addicted to buying pipes. We love them so much, we always need to get the next one. There are a lot of collector addicts out there. Collectors of pipes, stamps, art, so many different things. There is nothing wrong with enjoying the act of collecting, especially something as beautiful as a pipe. Controlling the addiction, though, that is something we can and need to do. Let's grab some information on our pipe buying behavior by reviewing our past pipe purchases. Start off by taking an inventory of your entire current collection. Write down each pipe you currently have on a piece of paper, every single one. You need to have all the info in front of you. Then, beside each pipe, write down if the pipe still makes you happy or not. I did the same review on myself, so for the second item, let me give an example of what I found. I saw a lot of pipes that you could call supporter new pipe maker pipes, and a lot of those pipes I actually ended up selling very recently. Even though I sold a lot of them, they weren't bad pipe purchases at the time that I bought them. I knew what I was doing and why I was doing it. You need to figure out for yourself what qualifies as a good or a bad buying decision based on what your collecting goals are. Look at all the pipes you have on your list and now focus in on the ones you don't seem to be too happy about or maybe even regret buying. Now we need to understand what made you buy that pipe. What were your motivations? Was it a pushy salesman, some fancy blog post, some interaction you had? Maybe it was a pushy pipe maker, maybe it was a total impulse buy. Whatever it was, as you look at the pipes that you're not completely happy with, figure out what led to that purchase. Collecting pipes is really a wonderful thing, but it does not need to impact your life in a negative way. Make sure your pipe budget makes sense. I know a collector who decided a long time ago that he doesn't need to have a fancy car. You should see his beautiful pipe collection and his not-so-fancy car. He is very happy, and this guy found a very good financial balance that eliminates him feeling like he has a problem. Now do one more step of review and spend some time planning. Set some goals for your collection. You just reviewed everything you bought to date. What would you rather have seen in this review? Look at all the money you've spent on all your pipes and ask yourself, how could I have done it different? How could I have done it better? The more you plan, the more goals you make, the less prone you're going to be to having impulse buys. You're putting a road out for where your money's going to go. And remember, if you ever want to go into a new category of pipes, always start off by buying an inexpensive pipe in that category first. This review is also going to show you a lot of unique buying behaviors. Uh, I know collectors who are more interested in hunting for a pipe than getting the actual pipe in their hands. I know another collector with over 4,000 pipes. He spent an average of $150 per pipe over the past 30 years, $16,000 a year, over half a million dollars over the past 30 years. This particular collector tells me how he would never spend over $1,000 on a pipe. A lot of our behavior won't make sense, but if collecting pipes makes you happy, you need to start off by getting it under control. Watch the video you just saw again and do all the steps. The more you understand yourself, the better pipes you're going to collect, the more you plan ahead, the less you're going to spend money on impulse buys. There is no greater fun than collecting pipes for a pipe smoker. Focus your buying more and you will not only enjoy your pipes, but you will add more meaning to each one. I hope this helps somebody. Thanks.